Hey there, welcome back to The Well-Balanced Mind. My name is Shannon Rollins and I'm your host and I'm so excited today to be talking about aromatherapy with mental health. And I'm really excited to bring on a special guest, Tina Fusser. And Tina has been teaching fitness for the past 25 years. She has been the missing piece, she found in the missing piece of her wellness journey specifically was with essential oils. And once she found that, it's made a huge difference in her own health with pain, sleep, stress. And because of that, she made commitments and share the benefits of essential oils with over 100 families a year and now four years. She has a team of thousands of customers and wellness advocates like herself. Tina Fusser is also a personal trainer and yoga teacher at the Lake Nona Golf and Country Club and teaches essential oil classes in person and online. And Tina, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to have you on the show. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And so the topic I'm really passionate about, especially with the topic of the show, talking about the mind and the brain and psychology and how we're affected in each day. And depression, as we all know, has really been creeping up to the top reasons, the top high uh, cost claims with health insurance. And it's affected over 350 million people annually annually. And so aromatherapy, there's been so many new studies. And this is why I wanted to bring Tina on. There's been so many studies coming out showing that depression can alleviate a bad mood and help alleviate symptoms that come with symptoms like depression, anxiety, all of those things. And that's why I wanted to bring Tina on today. And Tina, first I want to, I know in the introduction I, I shared about you, I, I wanted to really dig in a little bit of how this has helped you. How have essential oils helped you personally in your journey? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as a health and wellness person for over 25 years doing nutrition coaching, personal training, group fitness, I, I kind of stumbled upon the oils that were kind of given to me as a gift by one of my personal training clients. And I thought, well, what am I going to do with these oils? But they were a beautiful gift and I started using them and then I started feeling so much better. They helped me in particular in regards to pain, sleep and stress and also with my mood. And I know today you'd like to talk a little bit about the mood and I was amazed about the difference the oils made in my own life and then I started researching and now introducing all my clients to the oils and the oils have been used for thousands and thousands of years so uh, just coming from plants very naturally yeah. and any kind of plant could be distilled into the essential oils so we have lots of um, options out there and it's just a phenomenal tool in your tool belt so to speak and i love to partner with professionals like yourself and there's a lot of therapists out there that are now incorporating those natural solutions with whatever else we are offering our clients yeah, and I love that you said tool, another tool in your toolbox, because Tina, I don't know how much you've watched the show so far, but I always say, I'm going to build you a toolbox, and you take what you like and leave what you don't. So everyone listening, this is another yes. tool that you can use to add mm -hmm. to your toolbox to break it out. And it's mm -hmm. easy. I got sent a, a nice kit from Tina that will go through and do mm -hmm. some demonstrations for you. So hang out till the end. But this is an easy thing. It's just remembering to use them and remembering what to use mm -hmm. them for. And so, mm -hmm. Tina, I wanted to ask you, um, specifically with aromatherapy, how can it scientifically affect your mood? What's really happening? You know, we don't have to get too in-depth with the science of it, but just some thoughts from you and how it, how it helps you feel mm -hmm. better each day. Yes, perfect. Thank you for the opportunity. I always like to teach at the fifth grade level. I, I tell my students <laughs> I like to keep it very simple and basic, but um, I'll, I'll share a little bit of information that anyone can just easily understand. That sense of smell is very powerful. It's actually the only sense that's directly linked to your limbic system. And that's the part of the brain that controls our emotional and our physical and our psychological responses. So aromas play a very big part in healing. So 
that sense of smell, I, when I did a little, little research, and I have my essential oil Bible, I call it, my big book in front of me, <laughs> because I love researching and learning. So that sense of smell um, can um, be used beneficially in healing efforts. So the scents actually are experienced long before words. So that was very interesting for me to learn. So the scent, when you smell something, can actually change your nervous system uh, biochemistry. So essential oils can facilitate a, a very rapid emotional response in the brain. And that's what we want. And it also affects the body very quickly. And those are like very powerful biochemical agents, let's say that way. And we, uh, it helps us with our emotional balance, with our wellness, with toxic releases. And then we're kind of partnering it with holistic or medical um, derived programs, like one that you're running yourself. And then we're just creating a very successful approach to mental and emotional wellness. I know you mentioned mood. It's interesting. I always ask my clients, what are your top three health concerns? And they give me a list and it's usually pain, sleep, stress, and then mood, perhaps digestive issues. But what we have been going through with, with COVID and, and the mood is just very, very powerful. So let's talk a little bit about that mood because oftentimes we are perceiving it as the mood has chosen us. It kind of fell upon us, mm -hmm. but that's not really how it happens. It's really like the chemical impact of our emotions is kind of one of the reasons mm -hmm. why we find ourselves in, in, in a particular mood. And how about if we could quickly snap ourselves out of any mood that we find ourselves in? That's why I see this as be such amazing. a powerful tool, right? Yeah. <laughs> because we are, as we're inhaling, this information of the oil quickly goes to your old factory bulb. It's like mm -hmm. where my glasses sit, right here. Mm -hmm. It's not that the oil is going up there, it's just the, the, the chemistry of the oils. And from there, it quickly gets delivered into the limbic system. And from there, it goes to the rest of the body very, very quickly. And that's why whatever mood I find myself in, I could quickly inhale a particular essential oil and snap myself out of what I'm now, everybody is friend, right? That's why we have a variety of essential oils. I would love to do a little experiment with you. And I, I would, would love, love to, too. <laughs> I, I would love for you to get your little a trio box out. It's okay. just an, an, a beginner, we call it our beginner introductory kit. It has three very basic oils in there, lavender, lemon, and peppermint. I would love for you to grab your bottle of peppermint okay. and open. Open it up. I give you a moment to find it. Okay. I'm actually I'm actually using wild orange. I don't have the peppermint here, but I'm just going to do it with you. Okay. It's a very simple technique our listeners can then do at home. If you have it ready, give yourself one drop, just one drop, because I want you to experience the power of one drop of essential oil into your hand, and then just rub your hands together. Cup them right in front of your face. Maybe close your eyes because it's gonna be strong and take a few moments. <sighs> How do you feel? Oh, wonderful. Oh my gosh, yes. The rest is gonna go into your neck if you don't mind, mm -hmm. just rubbing it into your neck. It's, the peppermint will provide a cooling sensation in just a moment. Yep, and I'm already feeling it. Very brave. You can cup your hands together, leave a little opening, and just take a deep inhale with your mouth. So you're totally filling up your lungs all the way. <sighs> so we're using, we're using this knowledge of kind of uh, what actually, what do I want to feel? And then I grab an essential oil that will help me feel exactly that. So with the essential oils, we have the ability to direct our own emotional traffic, I like to speak, yes, say. Yes, I love that. So, and for so, all yeah. the listener, mm -hmm. for all my listeners out there, I actually... I use some of these oils like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to jump ahead, but this peppermint I've used in the past and I've used not as much as I should, to be completely honest, um, not as much as I should lately. 
And I talk about breathing a lot. I talk about meditation a lot. And it's really good. This is such a good supplemental to anything that you're doing with your wellness practices. Doing a little bit, putting some peppermint on the back of your neck or just smelling it or whatever other essential oils will go over soon or just a combination of them. Doing combinations is so cleansing, not even for the mind and body, but for the soul in my opinion. So I really appreciate mm -hmm. you really showing us how to do this today, Tina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And peppermint is such a quick way to have a quick little pick me up instead of yes. a cup of coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you feel like you, you're dragging, the energy level is just not there, you need to focus. And you could do that several times a day as often as, as you need it. And rather than feeling victimized by our emotional states, what is so nice to have this natural medicine cabinet available to you in your home and then you can just pick and choose and be influenced and uh, instead of using mood kind of altering drugs or people using chemicals mm -hmm. or we're, we're running towards certain foods, have bad habits, we could just try some of those very natural essential oils to help us, you know, feel differently. Perhaps we're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, like running around like crazy, and we need some calming and grounding. Mm -hmm. There is a certain oils. We have a um, grounding blend. It's called Balance, and mm -hmm. it has more wood, woodsy oils in it, and it helps us to calm ourselves down. Now, we can use them aromatically. We can use them topically. We're putting them on our skin, on our pulse points, wherever the skin is thin, I like to say, wherever you would put perfume, and then you're still getting the aromatic effects, but the topical you use is also a very, uh, very um, important. And then certain oils we also do internally, like the citrus oils. Wild orange is very uplifting, invigorating, and calming, mm -hmm. but you can also just quickly drop a drop of um, essential oil into your water and consume it internally. Nice. So I know you said um, you wanted information on calming. We, we see a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm. higher stress levels affecting us these days. So I feel like the most common one that everybody already knows about is lavender. So I know you got lavender in your intro box too. Now some people consume lavender internally and we see recipes for lavender lemonade or lavender cookies. Mm -hmm. I personally love to use it topically or I'm dropping it into a diffuser and I have one going behind me. You fill it up with water, your favorite oil goes into the diffuser and then you can pick a time, two hour, five hour, 12 hour time setting where those essential oils are being released into mm -hmm. your room, into your space, especially at nighttime. So lavender is a very nice soothing and calming oil that is very, very popular that a lot of people use. So I, again, I like to use the pulse points wherever you, the skin is thin. You can just add a drop and kind of sniffing it from, from your cupped hands. I feel like lavender is, is a very nice one to uh, experience um, stress relief. But I have to tell you that not everybody likes the flowers. So we got mm -hmm. flowers, we got citrus oils, but most everyone I've worked with, they love the citrus oils. So especially wild orange or the lemon that you have in your trio is a really mm -hmm. nice uplifting oil that most people love to use aromatically, topically, and internally. Now the... And then the Go oh, ahead. Mm -hmm. Question. Yeah. So the lemon yeah. that I have mm -hmm. here, is this something that you can also add to your drink? Yes. Because... Lem mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Mm. Ooh. It's, it's a great cleanser and detoxifier. Mm -hmm. We love lemon juice, but sometimes we don't always have lemons around. But I can always have lemon oil in my home. And the oil comes from the rind of the fruit, where the lemon juice, of course, comes from the, ju from, from the inside of the lemon. So it's, it's benefits to, to using both. And I love lemon in my laundry. I love lemon for cleaning. And I love it in my diffuser. It's just lemon gets used um, so much. Cooking, salad mm -hmm. dressings, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so the, the company does single oils like lavender, lemon, mm -hmm. peppermint, wild orange. And then they have very unique oil blends. And that's where we're really seeing them make a huge difference for, mm -hmm. for people. Let's say you need some calming in your life. Now, doTERRA has a calming blend. It's called Adaptive. It comes actually in an oil 
it comes in a roll-on so I could carry it with me and use it as often as I need it throughout oh, the day. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with like a supplement to take yeah. it internally. So the company, I trust them and their research, how they're combining um, certain oils together. And mm -hmm. this calming blend, they're combining wild orange, lavender, copaiba, spearmint, magnolia, rosemary, neroli, and sweet gum. So they do extensive research to make sure they put all the oils together that we mm -hmm. need to, to see the best calming effects. Yeah, it, well, and I wanted to jump back too to the lemon mm -hmm. because we talk about ways to boost your energy throughout the day and just feel better all around and hydration is mm -hmm. huge. So many people are dehydrated. We walk around dehydrated and then we wonder why we're exhausted and because we're exhausted, then we feel worse. So something mm -hmm. like the lemon or the wild orange is an excellent way if you don't like water. Because I, Tina, you don't know how many people tell me, Shannon, I just don't yeah. like water. I don't like the taste of water. And so it's great to be able to add mm -hmm. some of these things because then mm -hmm. it's not only giving you those health benefits, but then you like the taste of it more. So that's excellent. Oh. Definitely. The citrus oils are ideal. I have them all open in my kitchen and I go from the wild orange, lemon, lime, tangerine, green mandarin, red mandarin. There's all these different options where you yeah. can always flavor your water nicely. And awesome. they each have very unique health benefits as well. And most of them, uh, citrus oil is very cleansing and detoxifying. And in today's world, we're just exposed to so many toxins in the air and the water and the food we eat in our homes. So I feel like always investing into cleansing and detoxifying is a good choice. Absolutely. And and mm -hmm. that's what that's what I'm passionate about with the show is finding holistic techniques and alternative methods to be able to supplement what you're already doing in a new mm -hmm. and healthier way because no one no one's going to do the work for you, right? So you're going to you, we have to find these ways to do it and being able to bring some of these solutions to you. And so I really am interested um in hearing how people can get this introductory kit. You know, I have it for the show. Thank you, Tina. Right? But how mm -hmm. if someone just says man, I really want to test this out, figure out how I can stay calmer, boost my mood. But she even mentioned pain, um, digestive issues. If there's other things that you're working through or working with, how can people get a hold of you to try? Can they try samples? Can they, can they get mm -hmm. teachings from you? How does that work? Yes, I love sampling people because everyone is different and those oils interact with your body. And... I don't know which oils will be best for you. I'll make some suggestions from my experience, but best to tell me what your top three health concerns are and I will pick the oils that I think will work best for you. And then it's just uh, a matter of sampling them and seeing which ones make a difference. And if the first round of oils we picked for you are not the right ones, then we'll give you a second round of oils. Then we teach essential oil classes where you can learn how to build your own medicine cabinet. That's I'm very passionate about that. There's like the top 10 oils where you can literally have a natural cabinet at home to help you with respiratory health, to help you with sleep, with calming, with digestion. There's a little bit of everything in, in that. Um, but if you have special needs, let's say you're having chronic pain and we, we're looking to give you pain relief, we'll find the right oils for you. And there's just thousands of oils. And the thing is just everybody is different. We just have to give you some samples. I feel like very passionate about that. So contact me um, either. I don't know what, how the information is going to go out there via text, via email, my social media handles. I have a, uh, a educational uh, essential oil Facebook group where we post educational content every single day and that is a, a beautiful way and then come join one of our classes either in person or online via zoom and we'll get you educated and we'll get you going and we'll support you in your health journey. Oh wonderful so how I know you mentioned mm -hmm. they could go to the Facebook group and do some other things how can people get a hold of you what's the what's the best yeah. way for them to hey, get a hold of you? Just text me. <laughs> for, <laughs> yeah. 407-758-5962. That would be Beautiful. the best way to get you going. So mm -hmm. they could just text you and say, hey, Tina, I'm I'm interested in trying out some oils just to see how it feels on my body. How And by the way, as we're talking, yep. I can feel the tingling in the back of my neck. 
for the, good, it's, and good. it really does. It wakes you up. So this is a great mm. alternative, by the way, to a coffee, you know, that coffee, because mm. you're going to overtax mm. yourself if you're your system, if you're drinking too much coffee. So drink a lot of water, yeah. use yep. these. Oh my gosh, you're already going to start mm -hmm. feeling so much better. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and text Perfect. Tina if you have any other questions. And before we depart today, do you have any closing comments or thoughts or tips that you want to give our listeners? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're new to essential oils, don't dismiss them like I did for a long time. Give them a try and try, yeah, yeah, work with them for a little while. They will work for you, I can promise you. And I'm just such a believer in natural remedies and, and it's just whatever has worked for thousands of years and, and provided the research for all of our medicine that we now have available. It all started with the plants first and God gave us all these plants for our nourishment and, and for our healing. We just sometimes need to be re-educated. We lost it over the years mm -hmm. and that's why I'm here to re-educate people, bring them closer to nature. That's, that's why I'm taking women now onto nature retreats to, to really Beautiful. deeply connect what's already out there and, and provided so easily for us. Yeah, love it. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out also for some upcoming retreats that Tina is having too. And I'm excited to attend them as well. Mm -hmm. Tina, thank you so, so much for joining me today. You're so knowledgeable in everything that you mm -hmm. know. And I just know that you're so passionate about helping others too. So you're going to want mm -hmm. Tina in your corner if you're really working through some of these things. And thanks so much Aww. for joining us today.